Hello, my name is Keith and my company is Azure Pools. Today, I'd like to talk to you about a pool that we built for a client that had an unusual beginning for us at least because this wasn't a pool we were asked to build. It's a pool that we almost built by accident. Let me explain what I mean by that. We were first approached by the client on the telephone. He'd had a beautiful pool designed by an architect and he said, would I care to look over the plans just to see if I could see anything that wasn't quite right? I looked at the plans and immediately realized that it hadn't been designed by a pool engineer, but rather by an architect that used to building domestic houses. The pool design just did not work. The building didn't work. There was a spiral staircase leading to upstairs open rooms, which couldn't work in a pool environment because those rooms were to have things like a gym, cinema and so forth. I explained this to the client and uh, he asked what the design should be. So I gave some suggestions as to how the design could be altered and the architect went away and seemingly redrew the designs. The client then got in touch with me and said, well, you gave me some advice the first time. Could you have a look at them now and see if they're suitable now? The problems that I'd identify had indeed been overcome. However, more problems now existed because the design had changed, but plant room access was from the outside of the room. There were many things that were wrong with the way it was designed. So I pointed this out. It was at this stage that the client said, why don't I pay you to come and sit with my architect and just talk with him and tell him how it could be designed, which is what I did, but without charge. Shortly after, I phoned him to find out how he was getting on with having the pool room built. And he said to me that the cost had come in at a ridiculously high level and therefore it wasn't going to be able to proceed. It was at that stage that I said, well, why don't you give us the opportunity to have a look and see if we can look at the price and make it affordable and make it doable. That's exactly what happened. We use a team of builders that we work closely with and we identified one who could take on such a project because the unusual features about this house is that it's adjacent to a listed house. So it's joined on to a listed house. So there were lots of very difficult regulations. There are also various things that the architect had designed, such as the windows at the end, which were all curved glass, round windows in the loft space, and lots of other things that we felt that by perhaps looking at those, we could make the building more affordable. So this is the end result, the pool you see. It's a beautiful pool. It has lovely iridescent tiles. It's actually a gunite, concrete sprayed, steel reinforced shell. The tiles are what are called iridescent tiles. That means they catch the light and they change color. And you might see them in lots of different colors, glittering, beautiful. At the end, there's a built into the ground spa. All of the controls for the pool and the spa are in the plant room behind me. This has an automatic cover, a slatted cover, so when the pool's not in use, it has a cover that glides over the surface and seals the surface of the pool to stop the condensation. There's an air handling system, you, you might hear it running in the background, and that circulates air into the room to keep the room dry and dehumidified and lovely and warm so that when you're swimming, when you get out of the water, it feels lovely and warm. There's a stretched plastic ceiling with what's called a starry night sky. This particular ceiling is a high gloss black ceiling, very dramatic. You can't see them perhaps at the moment, but it's festooned with small miniature LED lights, which are glowing and at night, it looks like a starry night sky. There's a stainless steel walkway with a glass floor because above this section where we're standing is actually a bar and social room. At the far end upstairs is a cinema room and they're linked by that glass walkway across the pool. There's a gymnasium next door here. There's a seating area just across the side so that friends can sit, 
and can have a glass of wine. It's a thoroughly sociable, beautiful pool area. And one that we were proud to build and so happy with the result. And our client is equally happy. Okay, Peter, so here we are sitting in your, I suppose, what would you call this area? Uh, lobby entrance, pool entrance, yeah. In lobby, yeah, with the pool behind us. Yeah. Just, I wonder if I can ask you a few questions about the pool. Yeah. When you first started thinking about having a pool, you know, what was the mo what, what made you want to have a pool? Uh, it's something I always fancied having. My kid likes swimming, so obviously we thought that in mind, have swim lessons here. Just, and particularly in this house, there was so much space to be able to build it. It just seemed like a perfect spot to be able to do it you know subject to the planning yeah so more just the fact i you know potentially could as opposed to you know any other reason but yeah just generally would like the idea of it and, and, a, and a leisure complex within it as well i.e the, the bar and the cinema room could be incorporated within the pool area yeah so that, yeah that was the main reason well we'll, we'll perhaps have a look at that a little bit later sure. um and when you first started looking, obviously we weren't the, the company of first choice when you first, because you had a set of drawings to begin with, yeah, and right. you came to us and asked or, uh, over a phone call and said, you know, could I have a look at the drawings to see if the drawings could be built? And there were a few things wrong with them which we identified. The architect did another set of drawings, but that also created a few things wrong. And eventually we came up with the design that uh, you like. But you then approached us and said, would, you, you know, would we be interested in building the pool? And of course, we were. Yeah. What made you think about choosing Azure? Was what would you it say? It became apparent. I'd spoken to a couple of other so-called build poolers um, just through searching the internet, and it came quite apparent that um, although you know they well, first of all, they weren't local for one thing, and secondly, some of the, the quotes I were getting back were extremely excessive, and just didn't feel right to me. So <clears throat> obviously, once I got in touch with you guys, a local company, a lot easier to deal with. You know, it made a lot more sense. You spent a lot more time on it than any of the others were prepared to do in terms of getting the figures together and getting the drawings right. <laughs> so yeah, I just felt comfortable with Azure. Uh, that's great. Well, of course. And, and, and you know, we, when we were looking at getting the pricing, we had several backwards and forwards, didn't we, before oh, yeah, we actually yeah. reached a price yeah. which we found suitable. <laughs> so when you think about this project as a whole, what would you say would the biggest challenge that you faced overall to doing it? Um, initially the planning, because obviously Campton Manor is a listed building, uh, grade two star, I believe they call it, so it slightly higher than grade two, so getting the planning was was quite tough with the conservation officer, um, but as it turned out, he, he felt he was so happy what we'd done to other parts of the buildings in terms of restoring it, that you know it was a bit of give and take, so he'd allow this, um, if you like, as an add-on on the basis. It's got three areas already, it's got Elizabethan, Edwardian in the middle and then um, sorry Victorian in the end so this was just the fourth era in his view so why, why shouldn't it have a fourth era? Indeed it's yeah. Another, you know, segment in t of time I suppose isn't it? Yeah I remember that if we go back you had issues with having to do trial digs and excavations yeah, for all you, sorts of things yeah, did you? The archaeological digs and things like that but that's just part and parcel of the area you know this particular area as a whole yeah, everyone would have to do the same thing but but the actual, um, in the end, it all came good, so. Yeah, and as you look around the pool today, do you feel that it turned out the way that you had in mind for it? You know, did Azure interpret your requirements to the I way you wanted? It, it turned out better than I could have ever expected. Um, everyone that's seen it has just gone, wow, you know, this is amazing. They've been in houses, you know, far, you know, sort of greater value than this house, but not seen anything quite like this, yeah. the way it turned out. For the amount, for what it actually cost relative to what it looks like, I don't think you could beat it price-wise anyway. No. Well, it was, as I say, we had quite a bit of going back and forth before yeah, we arrived at a yeah. price. Yeah. And, you know, as, as far as you're concerned, how did you find the way that we looked after the build? Obviously, we introduced you to our builder, who did the main structure. Um, uh, without... There's no way I could have had my own builder on it, it would just would not have worked. It would have been impossible, you, obviously, because you knew the builder, you dealt with him before. Yep. For me to then try and liaise you two to talk to each other, it would have just been impossible. I don't have the time to do it. So that was crucial that you had your own builder on board that was prepared to work with you and that you'd worked with before. Well, as I've said to you right from the beginning, we've worked with that particular builder and several other builders since. We do a lot of indoor pools 
And the consequence of that is because we have a working relationship, they know what we expect of them, yeah. we know what to expect of them. So it works together quite harmoniously, uh, and the result is the pool building that we've got. Is, is the pool easy to maintain, to look after? Um, uh, yes, because you do it. <laughs> well, indirectly you do it. One of your work colleagues that still works, she obviously does it yeah. every couple of weeks. I do a little bit in between, because it needs a weekly sort of chemical change over bits and pieces, but my bit takes maybe five minutes. He spends about 45 minutes because he backs out and stuff like that. Yeah. But very reasonable cost, only sort of £45 every two weeks, so you know, not a lot at all, um, plus a little bit of chemical cost, but in general, very easy, yeah. And would you say that the pool has fulfilled the expectation? Do you find that you use it? Because all too often we build indoor pools or outdoor pools that never, ever get used, which is sad. Personally, I don't use it a lot, but that's more down to my work and not having the time to, but my son and his friends, and when we've had the odd party here, you know, it's come into its own. Yeah. But uh, I use the spa actually more than the pool, I have to say. That's yeah. probably the bit I use more. Swimming has never been my particular thing, but my son loves it. And wow. his friends absolutely love it, so. And of course, I know you use the gym. Yes, and the gym as well, yeah. <laughs> so gym is your big thing. Yeah. So, you know, if you was looking at back with the experience, would you recommend Azure to 100%, other people? Absolutely, 100%. Yeah, and no doubt. if you had to think about advice that you would give to somebody who was thinking about commissioning a pool, what would you say are the main things that they should think about? Um, probably the, the, the hardest thing for me is getting the, the, the sort of decor right inside. I didn't want one of these pools to have it full of plants and sort of um, tropical looking things. I wanted it to look very modern, very slick, very simplistic in a way. Yeah. Um, and I think we managed to achieve that. We haven't got, uh, you know, I'm one of these people who doesn't like clutter, I like minimalist look. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they just came out absolutely perfectly in the end. Well, you know, throughout this house, you've showed me around kindly and uh, you've got superb taste. So it was always going to come because of course the decor was down to you. We only did what yeah, you wanted degree. in terms of color but and it, so forth. You know, in terms of the tiling choice and things like that, obviously you helped with that. And you know, it's turned out, it couldn't have turned out any better. In my Excellent. Opinion. Excellent, well, we're really pleased. So how would you sum up working with Azura? Um, it was very smooth, very easy. Um, I didn't have to have an awful lot of involvement. You dealt with most of it, especially the builder side of it. Um, so yeah, very easy. Well, fantastic. Thank you very much for very giving welcome. us the time and giving us the benefit of your experience working with us. We hope that will help you to make a decision that will help you in designing or having a beautiful pool in your home too. Mm -hmm.